Now you can. I'm Simeon. Come and see me when you get a chance. I have news for you about housing. I'm in Ravenwood, near the boys' dormitory. Thanks. Come see me in the commons when you get the chance. I have someone you need to meet. Wasn't there one more? Excuse me, wizard, but one of my workers desperately needs your help. Please come find us in Old Town. Poor Doug might be hurt. The dungeon in Old Town is for level 15 wizards. You can still do it at higher levels, but you may find more rewarding challenges elsewhere. That's, uh, Simeon. You're still living in the dorms, right? Yeah. Did you know you can get better student housing? You should go and speak to Buxley, the castle shopkeeper. He'll get you set up with a new castle of your own. Buxley's in the shopping district. His shop is next to Alex Edge. He looks like a flyer student. interest you in an exciting new castle home? Got a Ravenwood banner. Socketing it is the nearly lost art of adorning items with magical stones. An artisan named Catherine Rockhammer has opened a workshop in the shopping district to teach people about jewel socketing and crafting. I've already told Catherine all about you, and she's anxious to meet. Go speak with her when you get a chance. Oh, and tell her I say hello. Probably a friend of hers. To Rockhammer's Jewel Works, the mother load of all things jewel crafting and jewel socketing. Oh, you must be that remarkably polished young wizard Eloise mentioned. Smash in, let's dig right in. Magical jewels are extraordinary crystals you can affix to certain items to infuse them with unique statistical enhancements. We call this jewel socketing. Allow me to demonstrate with this cracked, accurate opal jewel and this athame. We'll start by opening the socketing page of your spellbook. The socketing page is where you'll physically affix your jewels into the special slots called sockets on your socketable items. Jewels have distinct shapes that only fit into corresponding sockets. Socketable items come with varying numbers and shapes of sockets. Now, notice that our Athane only has a triangle socket. Lucky for us, our cracked Acura Opal is a triangle cup. It's a perfect fit! And voila! Our Athane has now been imbued with the magic of the cracked Acura Opal, which gives us an accuracy stat boost in a jewel! Quick and easy, right? Now, before I turn you loose to start socketing yourself, I have one last important nugget for you. Each jewel can only be placed into a socket once. Although you can remove a jewel from a socket, it shatters the jewel completely. But you can affix a new jewel into that same socket. That way, you can continually improve your most useful items. Well, that's the core of jewel socketing. If you ever need a refresher, feel free to reference my jewel socketing tone. And here, take this athame and this opal and give socketing a try yourself. 
You've seen how easy it is. And you can do it anywhere. Of course, acquiring jewels won't always be this easy. Jewels can certainly be found in treasure troves, lost hoards and so forth. But finding them is extremely rare. However, you can also craft your own jewels. As with any craft, you start with a recipe, which you can buy from a recipe vendor. There are many kinds of jewel crafting recipes, but the basic ingredients are the same. You'll need metal, which you can find throughout Spiral, a gem, which you can find or purchase from a vendor, and a treasure card. And of course, you need a jewel crafting station. When you craft a jewel, there's an element of randomness in the process, and you may get a more or less powerful result. For instance, if you use the same ruby recipe three times, you could craft three rubies with three different damage values. Now, because I want everyone in the spiral to enjoy jewel crafting as much as I do, I'm going to give you a jewel crafting station. All you need now is a jewel crafting recipe. I can't wait to hear about the jewels you craft in Socket. Good luck, wizard. I got a crafting station, um, an atheme, and a cracked opal. Oh shit, I can't go back here. Sorry guys, I just had to do something, I just didn't want to get copyrighted. And I could have gotten in serious trouble, so I don't want to. Oh, am I glad to see you, Wizard. I'm afraid all the renovations we've done in Wizard City have led to a few unintended consequences. You know, construction noise, dust, broken windows, and a handful of seismic tremors. Nothing major, but we did cause this hole in the bedrock. I had directed my crew to fix the hole ASAP, but apparently curiosity got the better of young Doug. Doug's always been keen on holes. A natural born digger, that one. Unfortunately, he never quite mastered the art of digging himself out. According to the city plans, there's a network of runoff drains running beneath this area. Poor guy probably just can't find his way out. Or he's got himself cornered by a cave troll or a sewer kraken. Don't know he's going on about being afraid of cave trolls and sewer krakens. More than likely, he's simply gotten lost and disoriented in the dark. Dog's even more afraid of the dark. Please, wizard, you gotta go down there and rescue Dog. His mom will kill us if something happens to him. Alright, uh, stand on the sigil. Just don't fuck up this time, because, you know, how I am about that. Okay. <sighs> Uh, I got somebody named Antonio. I am not getting it. Fuck off, man. Stop. My friend Jax is like tweeting me all this shit, so. Uh. I think I've played with this person before. Nila? I 
feel like I have, but at the same time, I haven't. Don't fuck around. Oh! Another nasty little topside. Let me guess. You's looking for that fuzzy flea farm what came scratching around here, ain't you? Fuck yeah, I have. <sighs> Stupid. I'd be happy to tell you where he is, but I'm gonna need to me a little favor first. You see them workers over there? They stole my tools. I can't work without my tools, and the boss don't allow no freeloaders. Capiche? You get me my tools, and I'll tell you where your doggy is. Remind me next round of Payload the favor to her. Make sure to hit the W key. something to do so well. to the boss's office. Ain't seen hide nor hair of him since. I don't recommend entering the boss's office uninvited, but if you tell them that Manny Dibble sent you, you should be okay. Probably. Good luck. Fuck you. Oh, whoa! Hold it right there, you disgusting little topsider. What's that? Manny Dibble sent you? I dislike that feeling well more than topsiders. Oh, whoa! Hold it right there, you disgusting little topsider. What's that? Manny Dibble sent you? <laughs> I dislike that feeling well more than topsiders. Oh, whoa! Hold it right there, you disgusting little topsider. What's that? Manny Dibble sent you? <laughs> I dislike that feeling well more than topsiders. Yes.
before the boss finds her.
famous could come in here to get the boss all riled up. Thanks a lot, you disgusting little pest. This is so fucking scary. It is rude to barge into a place of business without an appointment. Boys, let us teach this topsider a lesson in proper office etiquette. Shut up. Dude, who dares me to stick the finger at this guy? Let us discuss our mutual acquaintance. 
As you may know, Douglas possesses prodigious digging skills, surpassed only by his loyalty and desire to prove himself as the goodest of good boys. At present, Douglas is clearing the rubble from a collapsed soybean tunnel, a feat my other workers could not even dream of endeavoring to do. He's been hard at work for days now and should be close to finished. Go fetch Douglas from Soyvis Tunnel C, and then we can discuss next steps. I swear on the shovel, mate. I weren't trying to disturb no one's eternal sleep. Well, I was just digging because the boss told me to. Silence, dogman. Desecrating the grave of a failed tree minder is punishable by death. Wait, who is this? Your grave robbing accomplice? Oh, spectacular diamond wizard. Help! a ghost. Well, see, what happened, Mr. The Boss, sir, was I was all but done digging the rubble out when I accidentally dug through the floor a little. Then this Barbie chap appears out of nowhere, moaning that I woke him up and starts in on me. I'd be dead if it weren't for the wizard. Oh, Douglas, not only are you an expert digger, but you are also an expert comedian. Your completely implausible ghost story amuses me. <laughs> yeah, well, all right then. Since the tunnel's mostly cleared, I was wondering if I could go back up topside. My lunch is getting cold. Of course, Douglas. You've more than earned that lunch. You and your wizard friend are always welcome down here in my drains. Arrivederci. 
Holy shit, dude. Get your ass back up, down man. Cave troll or a sewer cracking? The fuck, bro? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I did almost get molly walloped by a really tired old arborist. Proper grumpy fellow he was. Well, we're just happy you're back. Me too. It's all thanks to the wizard. Now, if it's all right with you lot, I'd really like to eat me lunch now. Oh, uh, well, Dougie, me boy, I'm afraid I got some bad news. <laughs> Ah, you got a skeleton key. Party up, yo. Shit, bro. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right here.